Dhawal Khadi. This 21-year-old from Kolhapur is all set for competing in the Olympics a second time around. He is amongst the fastest swimmers in the world in his age group. In 2010, Veer Dhawal became the first Indian swimmer in 24 years to win a medal at the Asian Games. He is the youngest ever Indian swimmer to qualify for the Olympics and the first ever to compete in three events at the Olympics that were held in 2008. Veer won three gold medals at the Commonwealth Youth Games in Pune, also held in 2008. He holds various national records and is currently training about eight hours a day to prepare for the 2012 Olympics. Here is a conversation with this energetic young man which brings you insights on his life and his dreams. Well, I think I'm still not good enough. Um, I mean, every time I swim, I try to be better uh, because, you know, I have set a few goals and uh, till I don't achieve them, I'm not good enough. How has sport influenced your relationship with your family and friends? I think I have drifted a little apart from them because, you know, I stay away from them. Uh, but also, you know, it, uh, it's taught me to, you know, deal with sacrifices because to achieve something big, you need to make a lot of sacrifices. It has made me mature because I've been staying alone for the past six years in Bangalore. That was a huge uh, risk that my parents took, you know, uh, making a 14-year-old stay in a, in a new city all alone. But I think it has helped me a lot and um, it has made me who I am. So how do you feel about London 2012? Well, it will be my second Olympics, um, so I'll obviously try to swim better than I did, did the last time. And, uh, you know, the faster I go, the better I will be. What would you have to say to any striving Indian athlete? If you want to do something, you can. Uh, you just have to be ready to work hard and, uh, you know, the parents need to love their kids unconditionally, even if they perform well or badly. Uh, you know, the love always has to be there and uh, parents can't be good coaches. so. You know, the athletes should listen to their coaches more than the parents. You know, the parents should just worry about what happens at home and not at the pool or, you know, whatever the field of sport.